Hey there, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to be going over Reflector 4. Um, it's a great program, but some of you are having issues with it. And um, we went live with uh, some of the live glitches. And in this video, we're gonna go over them so that you guys can get Reflector 4 up and running for whatever your uses may be. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so basically, um, when you have Reflector 4, you, there are two ways to activate it. One way is from the computer. If you have a look here, I will show you. Um, we're on our screen right now. Okay. Okay. So here's our screen. And what I'm going to do is this little option right here, right? If you go here and you see the little camera thingy, if you can't see it, what I will do is I'll activate our little cursor thingy so that you guys can follow along. All right, so here it is right here. Look at the very top. This little window thing looks like Parallels desktop, but it's not. And then you go down here to the little uh, old fashioned dash cam icon. And right here, see, it says Lewis Tristan camera. So when I go to Lewis Tristan camera, you should see my camera, see? And you see camera one, camera two, camera three. Camera three is right there, all right? All right, so, um, so now that we have that, remember, it's always going to be a little bit blurry because it's the iPhone, but when you're close up, let's say when I'm looking so at something like that, the auto zoom is just activated. As you can see, you got a little bit of blur happening in the background, but that's just the fault by the camera. And as you can see, I use this and um, some of you guys had asked, hey, what's that app? Well, this is the app. It's called Reflect the Four. It works well if you're doing a soldering tutorial so that um, you could see me and I could see you, you know, vice versa. And you know, when you want to do this and just have the audience see you, me, I'm just uh, on the fence. So like, sometimes I feel like it's great that you see me and other times not depending on the experience, especially for the soldering video, you can care less about how I look and you want to see all the parts. Um, so, you know, so if you ever wonder why you don't see me in some of the videos, it's because you got to focus. I am not the eye candy. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is great, but there's a glitch to this. All right, so watch. So here's our application. So if I um, disconnect from the phone, right? Watch this. I'm going to disconnect and disconnect. And then now we're done. That's it. Um, so you just have to go here, right? Hopefully, and then it disappears. So once it disappears, now let's say, look, something else came up and you want to entertain your audience. And you're like, hey, guys, I, one more thing I forgot to show you. So then we're going to go back, right, to the application. And hopefully, if we go back to the application, let's see, and the old-fashioned webcam icon camera, it's gone. It's not there. And I'm like, what do I do? It was just there a second ago. Don't panic. This is a little hack to it. Um, so what you want to do is... Um, well, there are two options. One, sometimes this works and sometimes this doesn't. If you go into the little icon of the windows, looks like parallels, but it's not. If you go um, FaceTime camera, right? Here I am. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm just, the only reason why I did that is like, why is it so blurry in the background? I guess it does that so the audience can just focus on you. Okay? Um, so sometimes if you do that, what I just did, and then you go back, your camera would reappear, but it's not there. All right, so we disabled it. Hopefully at re-enable, it's there, it's not. So the trick to that is basically what you're going to do is um, you're gonna go to your phone. I can still mirror, but I mirror the phone only, okay? So I'm gonna mirror it so that you guys can see what's happening. So there's our phone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your settings. I'll just get rid of that. Um, type in settings, right? And then from your settings, you're going to go into the Wi-Fi. Now we're going to lose our connection. The phone's going to disappear, but you turn it off. Okay. Um, you can't see that it's turned off because I turned it off. But as you can see, see that it's off. Now, when I turn it back on, turn the Wi-Fi back on. Of course, it disconnected because it reconnected because it just found itself again. He's like, wait, I'm not supposed to be here. All right. Welcome back to everything that glitches. All right. So now that we did that, Hopefully, fingers crossed, when you go back into the menu, your phone is there, and then you can go back to resuming um, the Reflect application. Now, this is one reason why you may not be able to see your phone. Another reason why, okay, so what you got to do is, oops, I'm not sure what that is, um, so that we have one solution. This is the second one, okay? 
what you're going to do is you're going to go into your system settings and then you're going to go into uh where is it privacy and security i believe it is it's somewhere ah oh, privacy and security okay and then you're going to click on camera and then you're going to add see turn on reflector make sure that's on so if you have it off it's not going to work so make sure that's on they don't tell you that too some applications push that notification where you launch it and it says sorry it can't work guys um why don't you just turn me on <laughs> in this way and it guides you through the process but this application doesn't so um i you know it just sounds like maybe it's a permissions issue and apparently it was in one scenario okay um and then another way i believe and i think that's it and then you know unless you see something down here like in advance uh, advances here but no there's nothing there there isn't anything in that particular area yeah and that's pretty much it i hope this video helps you in getting reflector up and running if you stopped having that reflective experience and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time